like Lisa here and today I am doing a 15 Christmas question tag video. I've been tagged by the lovely Mike at Mike Life and I'll leave his channel down in the description box below so if you want to check him out definitely go and subscribe to his channel. He is lovely, absolutely lovely, the nicest Mike I know. And my husband's called Mike, so that's saying something. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be doing the 15 question tag video today. I'm not gonna parrot on anymore. I'm just gonna get straight into the tag. So first question, I've just got them written down on the sheet. So I'm just gonna look at the sheet. First question, what is your favorite Christmas scent? Well, hands down, without a doubt, the sexy man candle. I mean, that's just the gift that keeps on giving. So it's definitely a Christmas scent, right? <laughs> so my favorite ones are obviously the black Kmart one. The Kmart, would, I don't even know what it's called. I just call it the black sexy man candle. And also I have a new favorite, which I've been burning nonstop since I got it. Um, Anna from Hollywood Home and Gifts um, sent me a... Um, their version of the sexy man candle i think it's called one million and yeah absolutely beautiful so favorite christmas scent sexy man candle <laughs> all year round sexy man candle um all right question number two favorite song has to be without a doubt mariah carey's all i want for christmas is you like that song every time it comes on it just puts me in the mood and that is the song that I play on my last day of work before the Christmas holidays um, all the way home and I crank it so loud and sing it so loud it's just such a night like it's such a good Christmas song my favorite absolutely so question number three do you host any Christmas parties absolutely not i hate hosting parties i hate going to parties i am not a social person in any way i just like being at home with my family enjoying the christmas and then if we have to go out and visit somewhere or whatever i'm fine to do that but i am definitely not comfortable hosting parties i don't like people over in my house and I am not comfortable going to parties. Like I'm not a social person like that. So no. Question number four, what type of tree do you put up? Artificial or real? Well, we are always artificial. Never had a real tree. I think in Australia, it's the artificial is a lot more popular. Like I don't think many people do real trees here i mean that's just my experience i think for the most part everyone uses an artificial tree but i must admit i absolutely loved the flocked artificial trees so even though i love my tree like this is a massive tree I, i'm not sure i think it's two and a half meters tall and i love this tree so I, but i may flock it next year or try to do a diy flocking on it I might try it with a cheap Kmart Christmas tree first. So if I stuff it up, no big deal. But yeah, no, nah, artificial all the way. Favorite Christmas food? All of it. Like everything, all of it, lots of it. Like <laughs> I love all the foods. All the foods, everything, all of them and lots of them. For Christmas, what we normally do, our family anyway, Christmas Day, we don't normally do like a baked dinner or baked turkey or anything like that. It's just too hot most of the time. So normally our family will do a big seafood platter for Christmas dinner. And this year, I think we're, because where we're living now, we don't have access to a lot of good seafood that's reasonably priced. Like um, even though we're right on the ocean, I mean, we're personally not right on the ocean, but we live around where there's a lot of like ocean, um, where you'd think there'd be a lot of good seafood shops, but um, the seafood here, I don't, like I think it's really, really expensive. So we just, I mean, back in Sydney, we used to do a massive seafood platter. We used to have prawns, Balmain bugs, oysters, lobster, crab, like everything all on a huge platter. But We've pretty much culled that down to just like about five kilos of prawns, a couple of dozen oysters, because I'm really the only one that 
eats oysters. And what we're doing this year, we're having the prawns and then my husband's gonna make some smoked ribs outside. So that's pretty much gonna be our Christmas dinner for Christmas day. But the Christmas Eve, we also celebrate and we do our little fry pans. So, and I think it's a German tradition because it's come from my husband's family, which are German. But yeah, it's like mini fry pans. Like each person has their own mini fry pan and a little burner. And you, that like there's all like raw meats and food on the, like raw food on the table. And then you cook it in your own fry pan. I did do a little video on this when we did it last year so i can link that if you want to have a look what it, what i'm talking about it's a little bit hard to explain but yeah um that's what we do for christmas eve dinner and that's really nice like that is super delicious so yeah favorite foods would be that and um love pavlova even though a lot, i think my family doesn't like it so we haven't had it in a few years but love pavlova all the chocolates all the everything just everything yeah all of it turkey meat vegetables whatever whatever you're gonna feed me i'll eat it number six when do you open gifts christmas eve or christmas day well like i said before my husband's german like his family's german so they celebrate christmas on christmas eve my family's english so we would celebrate christmas day so basically both um before we had the kids we used to do christmas eve at my husband's house at my husband's parents house and then christmas day at my parents house and um pretty much have both days but now that we've got the kids we just do our like i said our little fry pans on christmas eve and then we open the presents christmas eve and then Christmas day is just a normal day. Like, But in saying that, when the kids were little, because Michael was in the police and would often have to work Christmas day, Christmas Eve and all that, we used to just switch Christmas day around to when it suited, to when he had his day off. I mean, the kids were little, they didn't know any different anyway. So if he was working Christmas day, we would then um, let them wake up on Christmas Eve and pretend that that was Christmas Day so that then he'd be there while they're opening their presents and then he'd work Christmas Day and, yeah, the kids would have thought Santa came, you know, um, that night. So, yeah, when the kids were really little, before they really knew what the dates were, we used to swap the dates around um, depending on when Michael was working. But now that they're older, we do Christmas Eve dinner, Christmas presents, and then Christmas Day, we just have, like I said, our seafood dinner and everyone just has a relaxing day, Christmas Day. Uh, number seven, do you have Christmas th a Christmas theme when decorating? Uh, yeah, all of them. Like, <laughs> every room's got a different theme. Like, um, my entryway is like a rustic woodland theme. My craft room has, is like, I haven't gone to town decorating in my craft room, but it's all like rose gold and girly. My bedroom is very farmhouse inspired. And then um, our main living area, I would just say is traditional slash farmhousey Christmas as well. Um, so yeah, all of the styles, all of them. <laughs> Number eight, what is one of your Christmas traditions? Well, like I said before, our main one is the little fry pans. That's our Christmas tradition. Um, I know it's not one that's celebrated everywhere, probably more so in the European, German type of countries, they would probably do it. So yeah, that's really it. We're not really a family with a lot of traditions I can't think of. We just go with the flow really. Um, but yeah, our little fry pans is our main tradition that, because we don't tend to get that out any other time apart from Christmas. Um, so yeah, little fry pans. Number nine, when do you normally start shopping for Christmas? I probably start about November-ish. Uh, I will then ask the kids to give me a list of some ideas of stuff they want for Christmas. So from about mid-November onwards, I just start, yeah, collecting stuff and looking at stuff online and that sort of thing. So around November. Number 10, what is your favourite Christmas movie? Well, I don't know. Like, 
I feel like I like to watch Christmas movies, but then I just get really bored with them when they're on. As a kid, I absolutely loved, they weren't claymation, they were like puppets. They were like the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but like the 1960s version of it, like those little puppet sort of cartoons. And um, I used to be obsessed with all the um, religious ones, you know, like even though I'm not a religious person, but as a kid, I was obsessed with all the baby Jesus ones and, the, you know, like when baby Jesus was born and the little drummer boy and all those 1960s version ones as well. But now in Australia, they don't even put them on anymore because it's not politically correct. I don't know, some rubbish. But anyway, now as an adult, I did have a look on the internet of all the Christmas movies and to be honest, I don't really like any of them. But if I had to pick one, probably Love Actually, I, I enjoy that and I probably would watch that if it was on. Yeah, I'd say Love Actually, probably. Okay, number 11. Now, it's got a little disclaimer with number 11. So it says, parents, make sure your kids are not around for this question. For parents, do your kids believe in Santa? What age will you tell them that Santa is not real? And then for non-parents, when did you stop believing in Santa? Okay, so... For my kids, they believed in Santa from what I know, from like from what I think. I mean, they might not have believed, they might have just told me they believed, but I think they believed in Santa till quite, like till they were quite old, like maybe 10, 8, 10, somewhere around there. And what I basically said to them, like when they started questioning whether Santa was real, I basically said, of course he's real. And he only actually comes to the kids' houses who believe in him. And once you stop believing in him, then he gives your, like, he gives the job of buying presents to your parents. So, like, once you stop believing, he won't come to your house anymore. It's up to your parents to buy you Christmas gifts. And the Christmas gifts your parents buy are nearly always nowhere near as good as what Santa would get so you know you often remember as a little kid getting the best presents that's because they came from Santa not from your parents so once you stop believing he Santa will sense that won't come to your house anymore and then your parents job will be to buy you the presents so that's how I sort of explained it to my kids when they started questioning whether Santa's real um, just to help them believe a little bit longer because you know kids lose their innocence too quickly these days so yeah that's what we used to say to them but yeah I think they were probably around eight ten maybe even a bit older and they were still sort of yeah, believing that he might be real. I mean, yeah. Number 12, what do you top your tree with? A star, angel, bow, etc. We actually top our tree with a Santa hat. I don't have a star or angel or anything like that. So I've just got a big Santa hat sat on top of our tree. Number 13, what is your main dish for Christmas dinner? Like I said, Christmas Eve, we have the little fry pans. So we normally have pork, beef, mince meat, like a flavoured seasoned mince meat, raw eggs, then we have mushroom, onion, capsicum, and we started to do, what do you call it, like a marinara mix as well. So all of those foods are sort of laid out in the middle of the table. Everyone has their burner and then you just cook whatever foods you want. And we cook it just in um, little bits of butter. So we just have like little squares of butter on our, on our little side tray and cook the food in the fry pan. And yeah, it's absolutely delicious. Kids love it. It's such a novelty as well. And then Christmas Day, like I said, our family personally, we will do like a seafood platter. And this year, my husband's going to be doing some smoked uh, barbecued ribs as well to go with the prawns. So that's our main dish for Christmas. Number 14, do you prefer multicolored lights or white lights? I am a white light person all the way and I prefer the warm light over cool light as well because cool light can tend to look a little bit blue. So yeah, I'm definitely a warm light person all the way. Number 15, got to the end. I'm about 18 minutes in, but I've probably edited this back to about 15 minutes. When you decorate, do you decorate your entire house or only certain areas? I used to decorate every room, just about, uh, with some sort of Christmas touch, but 
to be honest guys i'm just exhausted um <laughs> i mean i i pretty much go to town on the main living area so i'll do a little few little touches in my craft room only because i film a few things in there so i like to have a bit of christmas in the background uh, i'll do my main bedroom obviously our kitchen main living area entryway and the kids we don't really do they've each got their own christmas tree like i made jamie a star wars themed christmas tree and i made jesse a horse themed christmas tree um, a couple of years ago and i did videos on those as well so i can link them for you uh, so they just have those up in their room and we normally do like uh, christmas pillows and christmas like a throw just a red throw on their bed but we haven't even done that this year not the entire house but almost the entire house <laughs> so that is everything that is all the questions answered so now i've got to tag a few people to do this video too i don't have any specific people i want to tag all the people that i kind of converse with on youtube have already been tagged by the other people that i converse with on youtube and i know two of the people are not that keen to do it anyway so um i tag you if you're watching this you're tagged so um do it <laughs> so i want to thank mike for tagging me so that's it for me guys see you in the next one doing 15 questions all about christmas so oh crap Hi. hurry up get in Hey everyone, live it like Lisa here. Hey guys, live hey, it like Lisa. <laughs> every. <laughs> hey everyone, live it like Lisa here, and today I will be doing a. Please don't. My head looks really big. Can you go now? You're dirty and you stink. Go away. Go have a shower. Thanks for watching. Can hey I everyone, live it like Lisa here. <laughs>